your father. He wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes-man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! sound like wolves because it wasn't get ready It's a fiend to me. Bones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! 
When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What? What's wrong with her? Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Holmes must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? Uh, a boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. Come on! Johnny. Johnny. Not here. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here. Fleeing something.
Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here, fleeing something. Johnny, wake up. Ma? Who? Uh, oh, the witcher! You frightened me. Thought it were those vile hags. Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Remember that crazy old woman who looked after the kids? Gran? Sure I remember. Found her in the crone's village, transformed into a monster. Any idea how that happened? By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones totted in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair, called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor, went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Stay in the chest until the crones left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not a peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The one she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Brewess piped up first. Naughty boy. Oh, naughty. Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes. Then the whispers says, Run, boy, run before your legs rot off. They all laughed, and I legged it. There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to 